Well, changing the identity of East Greenville. That's the focus of a planning meeting held tonight for the city's downtown airport district. And now a 15-year strategy is closer to reality. Fox Carolina's Arthur Mondale joins us live. He has more on the master plan and when it will be finalized and then released. A microscope on a different part of Greenville. There's a lot of moving parts transforming a light industrial corridor into a flex industrial zone. It requires six phases and finalizing the master plan happens this summer quality of life, correct. Two decades ago, Shanita Peppers moved from Ohio to East Greenville to open a beauty and barber school. It has grown tremendously. It's located in the Greenville downtown airport district off busy Lawrence Road. I'm centered between 291 and Lawrence Road, so I get a lot of traffic on both sides. She's invested in the future of the area, but she wouldn't dare walk to this planning meeting to share her input. My business is probably about five minutes from here. Did you walk here? No. Why not? because of traffic. Pedestrian safety, affordable housing, restaurants, grocery stores, and hotels. Just a few options on the table in the airport district's master plan. This part of Greenville has something exciting coming. It's the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Amanda Morell is the project manager for Callison RTKL, the consulting firm working with the city to transform the area. It is a blue collar and white collar all interacting together in the same space. So it brings a lot of diversity and vibrancy to a community. To include capitalizing on this neighbor, the downtown airport an asset not found in most neighborhoods. Airplane observation areas was one of the number one things that we heard folks wanted to see in this area. Where else can you sit at the end of a runway and watch the planes fly overhead? That, and do you call that dot democracy? Yeah, because you're voting with your dots. Over the last nine months, business owners and citizens have been guiding the process. On Wednesday, the public met again for a public design charrette. Architects, engineers, planners, economists, and we're all in the same room designing and crafting a vision that's based on public input. A master plan report will be released in July that lays out recommendations of the next 5, 10, and 15 years. This is their opportunity to craft the future of where they live, work, and play. I really feel that this is about quality of life, making sure that I can actually take my grandkids out in this area when I get off work and they can enjoy themselves and I can watch them enjoy themselves and, that's, and enjoy myself as well enjoying herself as well. Now, July is still sort of a long way off. Next month, preliminary recommendations will be released to the public, and the public will offer another round of feedback. Arthur Mondale, Fox Carolina News.